because while our HBCUs are mostly known for an education rooted in academic rigor, community, higher purpose, they also know how to turn up. But these aren't normal times. You're being asked to find your way in a world in the middle of a devastating pandemic and a terrible recession. The timing is not ideal. And let's be honest, a disease like this just spotlights the underlying inequalities and extra burdens that black communities have historically had to deal with in this country. We see it in the disproportionate impact of COVID-19 on our communities. Just as we see it when a black man goes for a jog and some folks feel like they can stop and question and shoot him if he doesn't submit to their questioning. Injustice like this isn't new. What is new is that so much of your generation has woken up to the fact that the status quo needs fixing, that the old ways of doing things don't work, and that it doesn't matter how much money you make if everyone around you is hungry and sick, that our society and our democracy only works when we think not just about ourselves, but about each other. More than anything, this pandemic has fully finally torn back the curtain on the idea that so many of the folks in charge know what they're doing. A lot of them aren't even pretending to be in charge. If the world's going to get better, it's going to be up to you. Well, most of you know that was the Father Messiah, Barack Obama, speaking at a uh, black college, uh, a national black college graduation across America. And so that opening was Obama, the fallen Messiah, the liar, the evil one, speaking at the, uh, speaking to the uh, national graduation of uh, black colleges over the, across the country, across America. Isn't that amazing? I mean, you have to be evil. You have to just absolutely be evil to do something like that. The so-called ex-president of the United States of America goes on line on national TV, however they did that, and just lied to the black people to keep them in a victim mentality. Can you imagine being black and coming from homes where there are no fathers and not having good examples of encouragement and hard work and loving your country and loving, treating all as yourself. And you graduated from a college and a fake president like Obama goes online and tell you something like that at your graduation, taking away any hope that you might have. That is evil. And that thing about shooting someone while jogging, that's, he doesn't know that. He is just an evil, lying president, ex-president. How can he call himself a man and be that evil? And then want to blame, uh, even with the Chinese virus, trying to make some type of race issue out of that. How does this man sleep, sleep at night? How does he sleep at night? This Obama is wicked to the core. And anyone who believe anything he has to say, you got to be living in darkness yourself. What an evil thing to do from an adult man who at one time was the president of the country. He, had, he brought Big Mama Michelle with him. They came from south, uh, south side of Chicago to the White House, the highest position in the land. And he's going to tell a black graduation class, graduating class, lies like that. What a setup. You really have to be into your blackness to believe that. Or even to really listen to it. It's so evil. That's a setup. And what he's doing is trying to get them keep them in a state of stupidness, a state of, as though they have already been defeated in order to use them to get votes. 
how can you be that evil? And why I can't even understand why any parent would have allowed their son or daughter to listen to that crap from that evil fake man. Obama is pure evil. Back in 2009, when um, that stupid black so-called professor overreacted to the cops coming to his place to look out for him, Obama said, um, I don't know all the facts, but the police acted stupidly. I don't know all the facts, but the cop acted stupidly. Why don't you shut up then? Black people, you got to overcome your blackness. You're being screwed by people like Obama. Really? That is amazing. And he's trying to hold a friendly, nice face while he's lying to you, causing you to become angry or even more so angry and causing you to believe that this country, you just can't make it. Chinese virus has nothing to do with black people or so-called racism. It came from China. What an evil, evil, worst president this country has ever seen. I don't know what he meant by they, all, they also know what to tune up. What does that mean? He said that blacks are most affected by the virus because of their historic, I mean, history of struggle. What does that mean? What an evil, that guy, when you look at him, you better be, have overcome your anger because he'll make you overreact with that kind of evil speech. In, in this next clip, Obama advised black people that the best way to achieve social change is by joining forces with other oppressed communities. Whether you realize it or not, you've got more roadmaps, more role models, more resources than the civil rights generation did. As African Americans, we are particularly attuned to injustice, inequality, and struggle. But that also should make us more alive to the experiences of others who've been left out and discriminated against. Stand up for and join up with everyone who's struggling, whether it's immigrants, refugees, the rural poor, the LGBT community, low-income workers of every background, women who so often are subject to their own discrimination and burdens and not getting equal pay for equal work. And on the big unfinished goals in this country, like economic and environmental justice and healthcare for everybody, expand your moral imaginations, build bridges, grow your allies in the process of bringing about a better world. How about standing up for white people? He left that out. And <clears throat> he never mentioned that he's half white. His mama was white. White folks, this is why black people, not all, not all, not all, not all, but most black people act just so crazy. It's another reason. Besides coming from homes where the fathers are not there, they'll listen to this crap. This is so evil. I don't even know why they would even play this. They might as well. Why would they complain about the KKK? Obama is the KKK. Worse than the KKK. He is worse than they are. These kind of people like Obama have caused more trouble and hatred in the black community than the KKK or anyone else could have ever done. And they keep it going. This is a push to take back the White House, by the way. I don't know how he lived with himself. I don't know how he, being a male, faces his wife after knowing and his kids 
after deliberately lying and setting people up like this because most black people don't think for themselves, they're going to fall for it because they're not free thinkers. Obama, if Obama had done something like this when I was growing up, they would send him back to Ghana, wherever he came from. This is evil, folks. This is pure evil. Obama is evil. The black so-called leadership are evil. This is why you got to take back your own life, black people, all people, especially black people. Because as long as you listen to this stuff, you're never going to have peace within yourself. And you're going to always be struggling with yourself. Hating the world for no reason. He's, he's trying to gather these people up to vote for the Democrats again. So he's keeping them in a state of fear and anger and doubt. What does the coronavirus have to do with black people? Blacks are most affected by the virus because of their history of struggle. That's a bald-faced lie. Really, it's just an outright lie. It's pure, pure evil. Black people, you need to start thinking for yourself. Come out of the darkness and start acting like adults. Because this man doesn't want you to succeed in life. This is the greatest country on this side of heaven. And the only reason you fail in it because of your own weakness. It has nothing to do with your color. It has everything to do with your own weakness. And if you are failing, it's because of your own conflict that you have within yourself and not dealing with it. And you listen to these lies. And white people wonder why are black people so angry and out of it and emotional and easily upset. This is why. One of the reasons why. The other is because they're coming from home where there are no fathers. Or if the father happened to be there, he's not in charge of his wife and children. Such a sad way to live, but this is what's happening. Now you see in a big way why blacks are overreacting. Radical, evil, agitated groups like Black Lives Matter. Worse than the KKK. Really. Blacks, the KKK, Ku Klux Klan, never affected blacks in the way that these so-called black leaders are doing. It should be even embarrassing for an adult black man or a black woman to say they have a leader. First of all, you should not be having a leader. God is your leader. It, 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 it's just, it's madness. Sorry to start your money out with that crap, but it's crazy. It is mind-blowing. And I wouldn't even bother to send my child to a black school, period, black college or any school that's predominantly black. They feed them lies like this. They are feeding them lies. You better take back your children. His, his children are going to the best schools living the best life. And if they can do it, your black children can do it. But you got to let them, make them stop listening to this kind of crap. Obama is evil. Absolutely evil. He had big mama, Michelle. Amazing. I was talking to my, one, my uncle last night on the phone. And he was like praising Obama. I had not seen this until this morning. My producer showed it to me. But he was like praising Obama. I'm like, are you out of your mind? But he black and he listened to CNN and uh, NB, uh, all those stupid networks that promote lies. All in the name of Jesus. All in the name. In the name. 
This is the blood. Blacks, you are not Christians, really. All those that believe this crap. You can't be a Christian and believe these lies. Amazing. I bet you I haven't heard anything or seen anything lately, but I guarantee you his children are suffering due to their father being a, a weak beta sign of Satan. If ever that was a sign of Satan, Obama is, is, is him. Amazing. It's no wonder blacks are just acting stupid over stupid stuff. Our battle is a spiritual battle, folks. A warfare between good and evil. And these evil black people can encourage evil as well as evil white people, evil Mexicans, even Chinese or Japanese. That's why you must be born again. And blacks trust these people. That's what's so crazy. Obama is not living in the hood, and he's half black. Big Mama seems to be all the way black. They ain't living in the hood. How are they able to get out of the hood and tell you that you're not? You can't. You have issues because of other people. What a mess! Such a sad way to live. A sad way to live. And it's not going to change until you take hold of your own life. Know thyself. Take back your life. Really. You shouldn't let anyone control your life. Be in control of your own life. Who control, who's controlling it, the, the life of those who are trying to control you? Who? How are they able to have control of their lives, but you're not? They tell you that you can't. I'm your leader. That's not normal. That's abnormal. That's insanity. <laughs>